Next is function setting. In the function setting, there are two pages. So the common settings and copy related settings, print related settings, scan related settings, and receive forward, store access, and print. Okay, let's say check common settings. So in this, there are some common settings which is uh, which will be common for all functionalities. Okay, print, scan. Um, and other uh, scan to folder scan to your usb all the settings okay so normally in the copy settings it is specifically related to the copy menu and printer is again it is uh, related to printer settings okay and send again is for scanning and here uh, we will have to set the SMTP details okay when you want to use this machine to scan to email function we need SMTP details and uh, we need an email address so this has to be set here okay under send and email settings communication When you go next, receive and forward. This is for uh, uh, scanning. When you send a scanning, if it is fails, you want the machine to be print or not. If that, you can click that. Then store access file. So in here, uh, memory media settings. Store access file settings. So if you want to scan and store access files, uh, files to your USB and what format you know want and what is the file name you should give so such things can be set it up here memory media so select option when connecting memory media what option you need that can be set it up and print it is force hold print okay so you want to print to the to machine and it has to be released when the user comes and release by themselves not automatic release that is options uh, that which is available here All right now next go to system settings device setting set destination this is related to address book go to next page management setting in the management setting, uh, there are some settings which is purely related to the machine device management. So it will be very very careful when you deal with this. So user management. In here, you can create a user authentication. So the machine will be locked. The users or uh, users should enter the password in order to begin anything. And device management. Device management. It is all about the device the uh, what what access you want to give and uh, it is it's completely uh, device management uh, details okay so let's go to license and others in this area you can register and you can add your existing or sorry external uh, applications in this particular uh, menu and remote ui this should be always on if it is off we can't access from the web browser and also remote operation settings this should be on always so if you have remote operation on so we can take uh, control of uh, remote operator kit and we can we can see the console on our computer So yeah, this is all about license and data management. Data management, uh, important export. If you want to clone the device or if you are formatting the device for some reason, you want to take a backup, you can take a backup and you can export the same thing again on this. 
and uh, for some reason if you want to format uh, the device so you can go ahead and do it with the initialize all settings so this by executing the settings it will be formatted and uh, your machine will go to the factory default settings so once once you executed this it's going to take you a uh, few minutes depends upon the data size and it will erase all the settings and bring back to you next security settings security settings uh, it is all about the system device and security in here you go to authentication password settings and password settings so here you can do you can set whether uh, what complexity your password should be and also you can set authentication functions uh, still which is more related to the um, uh, security settings, settings okay